In this video, we're going to look at how we can change the appearance of our mail in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. With Spark, what we're able to do is change the appearance of our mail. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go over to my Mac first and take a look. When we're looking at my mail here, you're going to see I have a preview. There's two lines of preview here. Also, what I have here is an avatar. If we look at the mail itself, we have my avatar here. This is what we can change. These are the appearance settings. We can also change the icon to show support for Ukraine. This company or this developer is based in the Ukraine. So what you can do is show the Ukraine colors. So where do we find these different appearance settings? Well, on the Mac, what we do is we go up to Spark, and then we go over to our Preferences. Under our Preferences, we have a new window that opens up. We need to make sure that we're looking at our General Preferences. And then we go over to Appearance. From here, we have all of our different appearance options. The first one is the app icon. You want to show your support, all you have to do is just select which icon you want. We can also set the number of lines in the preview. So this is why, I'm going to move this over to the right, this is why we only see two lines here because I have my appearance set for two lines. If you want to see more, you can go and set it for three or even none to see less. When you do show more lines, it's going to show less emails. So I'm going to go with three here. And now we can see we have three lines of preview, but I cannot see as many emails. So you want to balance this out. I like to keep it at about two. Now, if you're using Gmail for your email account, what you can also do is show the labels. What are labels? Well, with Gmail, instead of folders, when you archive or when you file your emails, what it does is it assigns a label to us. So you can have multiple labels assigned to an email. So it doesn't necessarily keep them in folders. It organizes them by labels or tags. So when you turn this on, I do not have any Gmail accounts, but when you turn this on, what it will do is it will show the labels below the preview here. So that's basically all it does. So it'll, it'll add another line in there for the labels. If you use threads, what you can do is minimize old threads into a thread view. So this will make the email smaller, it'll compact them. I can also show color coding. I like to have this on as well. What is color coding? Well, when we look at our mail here, you're gonna see I have different colors. My .Mac account is purple. My iCloud account is blue. Also, you're going to see that I have a little bar there next to each email. This is the color code. So being that this is purple, this tells me that this is my .Mac or from my .Mac account. I swipe up. We can see that this one is blue. So this one is coming from my iCloud account. If we turn that off, we do not see those colors there. And with the emails, we cannot see where they are. Again, I like to have this on. We can also show avatars. I mentioned this earlier. We have these different avatars here. So I can easily see that these two emails are from Apple News. I can see that this is from Apple. This one is from PayPal, just by looking at that avatar. If you do not want to see those avatars, you can deselect it. We can also set if we want to see them in the mail itself. So this is the avatar for my email. And then our last option here is for dark theme support. Right now, what it is going to do is just follow my system. So if my system is in dark mode, then my email, my Spark mail will be in dark mode. But you can set it to always use a specific theme. When you make a change over here in these preferences, it does not sync with your other devices. These are device centric. In other words, if I go and change this to three lines, it's only going to affect my Mac. It is not going to affect my iPad and iPhone. So what we're able to do is change these settings on each device individually. Let's see where we find this on the iPad. So I'm looking at my iPad here, and in order to go to these appearance settings, we can see that I'm looking at one line of preview and I can see my avatars here. In order to change this, what we need to do is go up to these three horizontal lines in the upper left hand corner and then we go down to settings. Under settings, you're going to see appearance. 
From here, what I'm able to do is change my app icon, much like the Mac. I can also set what color mode I want to use, what theme I want to use. I can also set if I want to use True Black. This is an iPad and iPhone specific setting. When I select True Black, the blacks are going to be like a pure black, not so gray. It's going to increase the contrast. And then I can set how many lines of preview. We can see that this is set for one line of preview while my Mac was set for two. Again, they are not synced across your different devices. And then I can select if I want to show the avatars. Now the avatars only show on the list. I cannot show them in the email. So those are where I can find the settings on the iPad. On the iPhone, it basically works the same way. Let's go over to my iPhone here. And the first thing we need to do is go up to our three lines in the upper left-hand corner. But before we do, you're going to see that my emails are set for three lines of preview. So again, it is not syncing all of these different appearance settings across all my devices. So to change them on the iPhone, we go to the three lines in the upper left-hand corner, just like the iPad. We go to our settings at the very bottom, and then we go over to appearance. We have a lot of the same settings. Actually, we have all of the same settings as we do on the iPad. I can change the app icon, my color mode, which is the theme. I can also set if I want to use true black, adds more contrast. I can set the number of lines of preview and show avatars. Once I have everything all set, again, it does not sync with my other devices. It only applies it to that specific device. So those are our appearance settings that we have on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone for SparkMail.